Hey, this is Andrea, and I'm doing the wrap up for my first Booktubeathon. And I want to say that I had fun and I learned some things. So, <laughs> especially since this this is my first time doing Booktubeathon, so I was a little nervous about it because it seems overwhelming. You know, there's a lot of stuff to do. There's books to read. It's only in seven days, and there's um, challenges on different. Um, platforms like there's chal there's video challenges on YouTube every day and there's like fo you know challenges for f doing photographs on Instagram and then there's some read-alongs on Twitter and I tried each of those things and something I learned was you don't have to do all of it you just do what you feel like doing and it's fun to interact with other people and see what other people are doing. I got confused at times on the on the Twitter part because sometimes they'd say okay it's time to read and I don't know like sometimes I'd think we were stopping in 15 minutes or I'd think we were stopping in 20 and a half hour but it was 15 minutes like I, I mean I, it took me it took me like it only took me a little bit of time to figure it out. I, I don't think I was looking at the, <laughs> I don't think I was looking at the tweets the right way so at first but Anyway, I had a lot of fun with uh, all of that, and another thing I learned is that you don't have to finish all the books. I, d <laughs> I read seven books, or I didn't read them. <laughs> Look, I had seven books, okay, these are my seven books for the Booktubeathon, and my mistake <laughs> was that I picked this book, or I, did the, I did the coin flip challenge. Uh, to let it decide which book to start with, and I and it picked this book, One Second Later by William Forschen. I don't know if I'm saying his name right. I got up to page 242, and I was not enjoying this book. It's not that I didn't like it, it's just I wasn't enjoying the reading, so it was going really slowly for me, and I just kept pushing and pushing and pushing on it when I should have just switched to another book, you know. I could have come back to that. Sure, why not? I eventually did switch to another book. I switched to To Kill a Mockingbird, but it was a little late in the week, and I only got to page 52 in that, and I'm really enjoying it. So when I finish this, I'm going to watch the movie. So... Um, I did. I had fun, even though I didn't. I didn't finish the books. I didn't finish the challenges. Um, but I feel like I'm. I understand it better, and I feel like next year I'll probably enjoy it better. I think I meant to pick one small book, and I forgot to do that. <laughs> you know, like to have a small book to feel like once I finish that, I feel like I accomplished something. Uh, I had a small book set aside to do that with, and then I forgot to put it in my uh, in my pile of books. So anyway, how did uh, Booktubeathon go for you if you did it? And if you didn't do it, were was was there a reason why you didn't do it? Like you wanted to do it, and and you were you know confused by some of the format or anything like that? I'd be interested in what you have to say about that. Um. But yeah, I'm looking forward to do this again next year, and talk to you next time. Happy reading!